There's another youngster just behind us who's become Muslim as well. So this has been a great blessing. May Allah guide us all. Muslim as well. Allahu Akbar. As a man. I mean, what's the difference between that belief and Hindu belief, who believe in many gods? So what Islam claims to have, which is quite unique, it's got the very best concept of God. God who is unlike his creation in the sense that he's beyond the creation. He's beyond the creation. So for example, as we're speaking, we've got time, matter, space, energy, all components of how the, when the universe came into existence. But what we do know, there was a metaphysical state there, which is incomprehensible, but yet within that metaphysical state, the universe came. So that, that by definition, suggests to us that something beyond the universe has created it and that definition is what we seek to understand as a creator yeah. who is the source of all creation yeah. now you being a spiritualist it makes them perfect sense you see that you are inclined towards that creator by understanding his concept and then to understand okay does it make any sense that if there is a creator he would create us for no purpose whatsoever that makes no sense you see so when we come to having that spirituality towards a creator, the Arabic word is called fitra. Fitra means a natural fitra, which, fitra. Mean, yeah, which means a natural inclination towards our creator. Now all you have to do, my friend, excuse me, all you have to do is to mold that inclination into the, into the concept of God. And that's simple. That's a one singular being who is unlike his creation, who's created everything. And then it makes sense that that creator wants you to live a life according to his will. And I feel <coughs> we have our idea mm. of what we're supposed to do in life, but God has another plan for us. Right. And I think it's about finding that plan. And that plan is, is this what I've explained to you? In essence, that's what it all boils down to. Yeah. That one supreme being yeah. who is unlike his creation, yeah. who is the creator of everything. Hence, to that creator we will one day return yeah. and we will be judged. We only live on this earth once yeah. and then we are given a test. Whatever capacity that test that is, yeah. that is for the creator to decide. Yeah. So what happens now for you is simple. Yeah. Islam makes the most sense. Yeah. Out of all the world's religions, out of all set regimented methods, yeah. because all the world's religions, they espouse worshipping God alone. And also it's not been changed, you know? Yeah, it's the not been. Not changed. That's Whereas right. The Bible has gone through all this because when you, when you make a when you give the dues of to the which are owed to the creator to the creation, then by proxy you're going to get errors and contradictions. I feel Christianity was controlled, built to control people, you know, by by the Romans in the set. I've researched it, you know. Yeah, yeah, because they're the ones who actually because you know the early Christians, yeah. they didn't believe that Jesus was God. No. This was something which was incorporated within the um, Hellenistic world that Jesus was living in, the Roman Greco world, you see. And for them, and it was incomprehensible that a creator would be unseen. So their understanding was there were many divine beings of which men would be akin to being a divine being. So they would then give etymology or understanding of, of a creator to the creation. Like for example, Augustus Caesar would be seen as a god to his subjects. Although we know he wasn't the all-pervading, the almighty god. But this was common etymology, Hellenistic etymology you yeah. <coughs> used at that particular time. So what we invite you to is go back, worship God alone. The yeah. one true God who's created everything. Yeah. He, he, he is by definition the, the creator of everything because yeah. before him there was nothing. Yeah. He's, so that is what we would invite to, you to as Muslims, yeah. to worship God alone. So we pray five times a day. We bow and prostrate to God. Yeah. Why do we do that? It's because that is God's due. Yeah. He's giving you two nice eyes. If I was to ask you 50 million quid for yeah. both of your eyes and you would go blind for the rest of your life, would you accept it? Not a chance. He's giving it to you for free. We, the air that we breathe, 78% mm. is nitrogen. Did you know if it was a quarter percent less, we wouldn't be able to survive as, as humans or we wouldn't be able to breathe. So these are all things which are given to us for free. Yeah. So hence, we must be grateful to our Creator. Islam makes most sense. And I, I start every day by being great, great, grateful. I write a gratitude list. That's how I start my day and then I pray. So how about, have you thought about something? So when you decide, all right, I'm going to start my day, I'm going to do a little prayer, which is very noble. Um, how about a particular co construct that is required? Meaning to say, if there is that divine being out there, which you are in search of, then how am I going to get, how, what proper directives do I need? Doesn't it make sense then that that creator will tell you, listen, 
I want you to follow instructions on how you, and not just you, but everyone who I've created, they should come to me. So that needs a creator himself by definition to tell you how to do so. So what better way than offering your five daily prayers as prescribed by him? This is a big difference, you see. You're doing, and I'm not pouring scorn on what you're doing, it's very noble. However, however that creator who you are in search of, he wants you also to follow his example. Now this young man over here on the left, following my friend in, he's become a Muslim, just went to the mosque just a few moments ago. I'd invite you to accept Islam as well, because it makes most sense. It makes most sense mentally, emotionally, logically. It's not like, so for example, in our belief, God sends prophets, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad. They were just messengers of God. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, if you, people, people worship the man and not the message. Right, but when Islam comes, it seeks to redress those points. So the Prophet Muhammad upon whom be peace, just a messenger, no more, no less. It's not God's majesty that he comes as a man. If you believe that, that makes you a Muslim. I repeat that once more. Just absorb this point. You say that you believe in one God. You believe God is not a man. You believe God sends messengers. By proxy, my friend, that's already the definition of a Muslim. That's called the Shahada. Shahada's testification is only one God who sends messengers to the names of which we've, we've, which we've aforementioned. I would invite you to accept Islam, become Muslim today. Yeah, I'm willing to, to, to try it. You want to, excellent. Can I ask, do you live nearby? Yeah, I live uh, just down the road there. Excellent. Old Montague, so. Oh, fabulous. So you've got two options of two mosques here. Okay. And we've got, we're here regularly, we can provide you support. I've got, lo I've got lots of people who are becoming Muslims, which I will show to you and you, it will stun you. Literally speaking, this youngster became Muslim just about 45 minutes ago, this, this youngster. I, I haven't met him, I haven't spoken to him, but I've been informed of this. I can show you, we've got a YouTube channel here, in which you'll be amazed, people, Englishmen like yourself, becoming Muslims in their bucket loads. People of all different races, because it appeals to the natural inclination. Become Muslim now, and then we can offer you a support network. Help, advice, tips, and so forth. Yes. You want to become Muslim? Okay, listen brother, he shahada as well, inshallah. Okay. Okay, so what are you going to say? You're going to recite after me. I'm going to say something in Arabic, which is just testification of one God. And then you say, repeat it back in English. So just say the following after me. Say, Ash, Ash, Hadu, Hadu, Allah, Allah, Ila, Ila, Ha, Ha, Il, Il, Allah, Allah, Wa Ashhadu, Wa Ashhadu, Anna, Anna, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Rasul, Rasul, Allah, Allah. I bear witness. I bear witness. And I testify. And I testify that there is only one God. That there is only one God. Worthy of worship. Worthy of worship. And I testify. And I testify that the Prophet Muhammad. Upon whom be peace. Upon whom be peace. Is God's final messenger. God's final messenger. And with that, my friend, you're a Muslim. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. <laughs> Subhanallah. How do you feel? Do you feel emotionally inside? How do you feel emotionally? Just light and just. You feel good. I mean, with the way I'm, your, your eyes are folk looking at me, you feel like totally. So, my brother, you are now a Muslim. So, with that now comes a recognition of your Creator. An opportunity for you now to reflect upon that yeah. and to accept him and him alone. So his guidance will be fundamental for you. Okay. So and you I feel need, like I need that. You need that. Bless you. So we're here like regularly as well. And there's that little Brick Lane Mosque which you may be familiar with. Yeah. We've got the East London. I'm not from around here myself. I'm yeah. from further, uh, further part of East London. So. You're very welcome to take my contact number. Yeah, I'd like that. Would you like that? Yeah. Fantastic. And then I'll, I'll introduce you to so many. There's another youngster just behind us who's become Muslim as well. So this has been a great blessing. May Allah guide us all. Salam alaikum. Okay. So check this out. Let me show you something. Give it up. He's a new Muslim. He's a new Muslim as well. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. What's, what's your name, Tom? Thomas. Nice to meet you, Thomas. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, I spoke to you, Buddhist. Allah bless you. Welcome to Islam. Welcome to the Brotherhood. Thank you. Congratulations. Allah bless you. Okay, what we're going to do, I want to quickly show you something just to show what we're all about. Yes, brother. I'm going to note that down as well. I'm also